Hello and welcome to another Robot Varnak uh, workshop video woodworking. Today we're going to be talking about how you can make your very own dolly to move things around the house. And no, we're not talking about the world famous Singer dolly. We're talking about a utility dolly and here's some pictures. Dollies come in solid wood, uh, metal, uh, hardwood. Uh, making a dolly is not as easy as you would think. It depends on what you plan to carry on the dolly and move around and any uh, bumps that on the floor that the dolly would be expected to go over. For example, movers we usually use the carpet protected one to protect customers furniture items from damage. So you can put carpeting on yours if you like, if you're going to be moving furniture. Uh, for real heavy loads you want to use uh, metal so it takes uh, heavy weight better. And the most common dolly is the one made with wood. Uh, if you, before you make your own dolly you have to think, what are you going to move? The, use to move the dolly? Heavy machinery or small items around the house? So you need to determine what the, the weight of the items you're going to uh, move. So the first thing you need to think about is what size wheel you're going to use. For most uh, do-it-yourselfers, a 2-inch rubber caster like this would probably be best. It's hard rubber, it has ball bearings, so the thing will move around in any direction. And it has this, the 2 inches uh, diameter wheel is pretty good for going over bumps in your basement, for example. The wheel also has a load rating. You'll see on this one it's 90 pounds. So if you're going to be moving things less than 90 pounds, uh, this wheel would probably work good for you. And of course, if you're going to make a dolly, you probably need at least four of them, one for each corner of your dolly. And another thing to think about if you're moving small items around your house, what kind of materials you want to use. Uh, you probably want to use like three quarter inch plywood because the, ply, the layers of plywood will reinforce and help carry the load and be more resilient. For example, uh, don't use particle board when making a dolly. The particle board will uh, collapse. However, wafer board or OSB would probably be a good substitute if, if you don't have a uh, three-quarter inch uh, plywood. Another thing to think about is doubling up the material so it's stronger yet. For example, here's two pieces of three-quarter inch and you can imagine this will be even stronger than one layer of plywood. But in my case I'm just going to use uh, one layer of plywood because the item being moved is less than a hundred pounds. So let's get started and make a dolly. First thing you need to do is decide how you want to put the wheels on the dolly. For example, most people would say put the wheel square with the side, but uh, it depends on the direction the dolly is being rolled in. If you go over a bad bump, the wheel could tear out and then you have a problem, a big problem. You have to move the item by hand, which you didn't want to do, and so that's why you built the dolly for in the first place. So my preference is to put the wheel at an angle to the corner of the dolly. So it takes, uh, when you're moving it in any direction, the wheels are less likely to tear out if you hit a bump. And so position your wheels on, on your dolly. and mark the holes with your trusty owl. I'll only show one corner here for better better close-up. 
So mark your mark your holes where you want to put the screws and that's another thing folks what size screw you want to use for example in this case for example you want the screw to go well through the material but not, not through the other end so you want the screw to hold firmly into the material so if the wheel does go over a small bump the wheel won't tear out so don't use a Try to use the longest screw possible that won't go through the material. Another option is to use nuts and bolts to go through. To go through the material like this one here, you can see those be nuts and bolts on there. You can, you can put another cleat on the bottom here like they did and mount the wheels to that. But uh, this uh, dolly is a simple uh, medium weight dolly, so I'm just going to be using regular screws to hold the wheels to the dolly. So after you have all your wheel holes marked, you can drill your holes. another option is to use a power driver for this but in some cases the old ways are better ways with the hand power drill you can feel how the drill is going into the wood and how solid the wood is which is something you don't get from power tools you can actually feel the tool biting into the wood. Just a reminder folks that that's public domain music playing in the background over a hundred years old or more. Fasten the wheels there, yeah, put the wheels on there. If you notice the tip of the screw is coming through the top of your plywood or whatever material, use a pair of small bolt cutters and cut the little tip off making sure you point it away from people because when you cut the tip of that uh, screw it's going to fly across the room so uh, use care and cut the tip off and now you eliminated the pointy tip of the screw and it won't come through the top of the material anymore but folks if you're worried about the wheels uh, tearing out when you're using your dolly put some glue in each of the holes and put the screws back in the, dr the glue will dry out and help strengthen and reinforce the holes and making a uh, wheel tear out virtually impossible that's another thing with the hand powered screwdriver you can feel the screwdriver biting into the wood to see how solid the material is which is important when making a dolly you want to make sure the wood is solid to hold the wheel and to hold the load that you're going to be carrying Another thing about the dolly is when you're putting the wheels on 
make sure the wheel stays below the surface so when you lean the dolly up against the wall the wheel won't roll uh, cause the dolly to fall down and roll back on the wall so it's making it easier to store And you can move the wheel around so you will get the wheel in there. And another thing about making your own dollies, you can custom make it to your own specifications rather than buying one in the store. You can make it specific to your needs instead of the store bought. And another tip is to when you're finished making the dollies to paint it a bright color so it's easy to see. Uh, you don't want to end up using it as a skateboard uh, down in your shop for example. So make the dolly uh, visible so it's easy to see to prevent accidents. Another tip would be to put some non-slip abrasive on there so uh, things won't fall off and making it easier to push things on the dolly so try to make the top of the dolly non-slip or if you do end up using it as a skateboard uh, you won't lose your, lose your grip. And of course, before you uh, select your wood to make the dolly, uh, choose a good piece of wood that's nice and solid. So you inspect the wood before you make your dolly. So you want to start with a good piece of wood and not a something that will fall apart. So you want a good solid piece of wood so it, when you're move, rolling it's something heavy down the along it won't the wheels won't collapse from underneath it And there's the dolly folks, it's fully operational. You can put heavy weight on there and it won't uh, break. Well, at least for items under 100 pounds or 90 pounds, which are the wheels rated for. And a good thing to do is uh, paint the dolly a bright color of your choice. For example, red, yellow, orange. Something bright that's easy to see.
you could also put uh, screw eyelets on here so you could put like a, a rope so you can pull your dolly along instead of pushing it if that's your choice you can also make like a dolly train so you can pull multiple items at one time as well the choice is up to you you can make it any size you want depending on your needs instead of buying one uh, from the store uh, let me know what you think of the dolly so make sure you like and subscribe and certainly comment if you made your own dolly what what are some things that you did that were not shown today and let other people know uh, your suggestions so that's the